this is my channel natasha tech subscribe now for upcoming videos with your support growing up my channel and thank you for watching this hello friends today we are going to be looking into postman part 5 in this session we are going to be find answer for how to generate an access token using postman what is access token it is token based authentication once done this authentication process you are going to be allow for accessing target api for example you are done authentication in in any of the one website you are done login process then only the authenticated user can able to access the website page right this is the authenticate process so then the user going to be validated and verified by authorization process so the authentication and the authorization both are different process the authorization will validating you you can having access rights or for access rights means you are going to be access the specific page or not if you are having access rights for getting a page then only the application send you the access token for accessing the the target api once you are receiving access token from application server then only you can able to call the target api so here before that you done two steps of the process which is authentication and authorization then only you can able to get access token from the specific application right this is the access token then you can using that access token you can able to validate in back end okay so here we have to uh, concentrate which is identity provider so the whole access token will be Uh, monitor by identity provider for example you are using facebook okay so the facebook first you have to done authentication which means once you can log in into facebook application then only you can able to monitor okay what are the page i can able to access this is the authorization then the facebook application will send you the access token you can able to generate the access token using the facebook api call right so this is the way the identity provider will give you the access token the whole the tokens process controlled by the idp which means identity provider i tell you how to create client id and client secret using this website url okay so you just take this url this url open chrome at this url so after hitting this url you are getting one login developers page for generating access token you should complete two step process which is authentication then authorization for authentication you should complete your registration then you have to click on login then you have to verify your authorization access rights for uh, first i have to tell you create an account click on get an developer account this is the create an account page this is the field in this field you have to provide your basic info so here you have you should provide your office mail address okay so you are provide you can company name so here you can give site name for example i'm going to be give my site name natasha tech so after natasha tech uh, you will be get the dev word then you can get dot one login dot dot com so already I done my registration directly i am going to be click on login so here you can see uh, defaultly my site name will be populated when i click on continue that time you can see the whole site name which is contain one login dot com see one login dot com so here username you should provide your office mail address dot dot natrajan idi global this is my office mail address click on continue here you can give password so now you are successfully get your administration page because you are admin for this your uh, site right so here successfully i log in i can get my username here you can go to developers uh, section click on api credential click on here 
here click on new credential click here see here you can enter your uh, api credential name whatever name okay so already i gave natasha take so i'm going to be give natasha take test so here you can select any of the one option authentication only or read user or read all i'm going to be uh, select manage all because read write all object equivalent for super user because i am i am only the admin for my site so i can manage all click on save so after click on save you will be get the client id and the client secret so now you are successfully generated client id and the client secret using this both id only you will be get access token inside postman again i am going to be tell you the process click on new credential here you can give natasha tech test to select manage all click on save here you can get a client id client secret so uh, defaultly uh, this uh, client id and client secret uh, both uh, will be enabled okay if you click disabled means you can see access disabled so it will be moved to the disabled status if it is enabled you can see the not used okay so still the natasha tech test you are not using not it you are using okay so the natasha tech test to you are disabled so that reason this id will be disabled format okay so this is the way how to follow for generating client id and the client secret okay now we are done authentication and we are successfully generate client id and client secret now we have to open postman click on this one here we have to pass request url and this params information right after only we have to get access token those information we have to get from this site so you can go to developers section click on api reference option here this document will uh, guide you which url you have to take and what is the header information you have to provide inside postman okay here you can go to o authentication 2.0 token click on generate token come down so this is the sample code under the sample code uh, this uh, site will provide you those information okay so here this is the request url the curl so hit this request url change uh, http method as post because this is the post method right so then you have to provide uh, header section uh, parameters which is client id client secret and grant type so you have to provide grant type first grant type next is client id next client secret okay so what is the grant type value client credential so next client id and client secret so already we generated successfully so i generated two times for natasha tech test 2 i disabled so the enabled one is natasha tech test 1 okay click on this one so which api uh, which client id you want you can enable that one if it is disabled means you won't able to uh, use that one okay so here i am going to be take client id for this user provide client id here copy this client secret provide here so all parameter key and value we are updated successfully next we have to provide content type it is very important okay application json so where we have to provide under header section so here you can give content so once you can enter this content will give you the suggestion method you can select this next the format is application json right so click on send see the access token generated successfully okay if you are provided the right information that time only 
the, the application will give you the access token. Okay, so now we are done authentication and authorization, right? So for example, if I disable the content type, let's see what is the response we are receiving. Bad request. If you are missing any of the one option, will give you the bad request. Sorry, bad response. Okay. So for example, I disabled everything. So whenever I disabled everything, uh, those uh, information will be disappeared from the request you are click on send. That time also you are getting bad request because you are not able to allow for accessing this site because who are all uh, register uh, which is you who are all authenticated and who are all authorization in this site that person only that user only uh, uh, able to access this page okay now I am again going to be enabled this under this headers so I am going to be already enabled content time click on send see successfully generate the access token using this access token you can able to call your target API because this access token will give you the access rights which is the authorization access rights page okay so using this access token you can able to access any of the target api calls in, uh, in your register application okay thank you guys